Hello and welcome to this Dr. Frost Maths video on map scales. Now I'm holding up this map of uh, Japan from a very old atlas I have and this scale here you can see at the bottom is 1 to 10 million and what it means is that one centimetre on the map represents 10 million centimetres in real life or as long as I use consistent units it will be the same so one metre in the map represents 10 million metres in real life or one kilometre on the map well if you had a map that large would represent 10 million kilometers in real life. So real life is basically 10 million times bigger than your map here. And that's quite an extreme scale because obviously we're quite zoomed out because we can see the whole of Japan on this particular map. Now let's use that to solve some of these questions. A map scale is 1 to 100,000. That means that real life is 100,000 times bigger than um, our map. So two locations are 6.2 centimetres apart on a map. What distance in kilometres does this represent? Well, we're starting with the 6.2 centimetres um, on the map. And I'm going to keep the units here so I'm clear any given point uh, what unit I'm actually using. So we said that real life was 100,000 times bigger. So we just times by 100,000 and be very careful about preserving units here. So if we times 6.2 by 100,000, um, well, the first zero here uh, is gonna move the decimal point by one place, we've got 62, but then we've still gotta add another four zeros. So it's 62 with four zeros on the end. And remember I said we have to be consistent with units. If that's centimeters before, it's still centimeters now. But that's not a, a particularly appropriate unit to use. We wanna give this maybe in kilometers. So we can first convert to meters. Now to get from centimeters to meters, uh, well there's 100 centimeters in a meter so we divide by 100, that gets rid of two zeros and we get 6,200. And then how many meters in a kilometer was a thousand so we divide by a thousand and we get 6.2 kilometers. What about the second question? A map scale is 1 to 5,000. So real life is 5,000 times bigger than our map. Two locations are 3.2 kilometers apart. So this time we've got the real life distance. How far apart on the map are they? Now, let's firstly convert this 3.2 kilometers uh, into centimeters. So we're doing the opposite process now. So we know that a kilometer is 1,000 meters. So we times it by 1,000, we get 3,200 meters. And then in centimeters, uh, we times it by 100 to get from meters to centimeters. So we put a two extra zeros on the end. And now we've got the distance still in real life. That's still the real life distance, but we want it on our map. So on our map, it's 5,000 times smaller. So we just need to do 320,000 divided by 5,000 and that gives us 64. And because we're in centimetres there, we're still in centimetres now. So that means it'd be 64 centimetres on the map, which must be a pretty big map to be honest. Now finally, we've got Bobville and Daveton. Uh, we're given the distance on the map they're apart and we're given the real life distance apart there they are apart which is one kilometers and we want to determine what that ratio is of the map distance to the real life distance so how many times far apart they're in the real life than on the map so the way we do this is just to write out the ratio with those um, two distances so we've got four centimeters represents one kilometer and you can just put them immediately in the ratio like that as long as you're putting the correct units. Now in order to get rid of the units like you usually would in these ratios these have to be consistent units. So that's in centimeters that's in kilometers let's convert that kilometers into centimeters. So the one kilometer is a thousand meters first we'll go via meters and then a thousand meters is how many centimetres? Well, we just had another two zeros because there's 100 centimetres in a metre. And now, because these are consistent units, we can get rid of those units and we've got four to 100,000, but we want one to something. Now, we need to divide both sides of the ratio by four because we can do that with a ratio, just like we can with simplifying a fraction. So we just need to divide that by four. And if we divide 100,000 by 4, we get 25,000. And that would be the final answer.